Hi everyone, this is Doc Wisdom and today we will talk about volcanic necks. But before, subscribe to my channel, share and now enjoy this new video. Before to say what is a volcanic neck, we should know what is a volcano. A volcano is like a valve of the earth that has also an internal structure. A volcano is formed by a magmatic chamber, a main chimney, secondary chimney we can call them, and an external structure. Outside obviously we have a different structure, like craters. They could be uh, main craters or secondary craters uh, called also um, monogenetic craters. Why they are called monogenetic? Monogenetic uh, comes from Latin mono, one, genesis, origin. So it means uh, just one eruption because at the end of the eruption the secondary conduit is filled by solid rock so it's like a cork and it's impossible for magma comes up in this from the same conduit. So a volcano is a structure made of different kind of products. They could be lava flows, very strong, uh, or pyroclastic products, the product of the explosive activity, like ash, lepils, that they are very, very erodible. So we have a quite weak structure and down a very hard structure. Which is this structure? This structure is the conduit, the chimney, that at the end of the activity of volcano become solid rock, very hard. But volcanic structure is weak, much weaker than the rock. So what happened is exposed to erosion, wind, uh, rain, water, and so on. So is eroded, and this brings to the erosion, complete erosion of the volcanic structure. So we have the exposition of the conduit, the chimney, that become a neck. Because the rock of the chimney is harder, so it's more difficult for the erosion to destroy this kind of rock. A very good example of neck volcanic neck, we can find it here, in Sicily, in Motta Sant'Anastasia. Motta Sant'Anastasia is a town close to Catania, at the base of Mount Etna. Mount Etna is a stratovulcano, is a volcanic complex. Uh, first activities of Mount Etna are 500,000 years old, and they were submarine, and then we had, slowly, a centralized activity till to have this very big volcano that is 3,324 meters high. So this volcano is the highest active volcano in the continental Europe. But Volcano Etna will be a subject of another episode. So if we take a look of Mota's neck, we can see very particular and important structure. Columnar basalts. There are few places in the world where you can find this particular structure like Giant Causeway in Ireland, Svartifos Waterfall in Iceland, Strombolicchio, that is another particular neck in Stromboli, or here in Motta Sant'Anastasia. But why we have this structure? Everybody knows that all material, when they cool down, they contract. Obviously, also rocks. Magmatic rocks, during the cooling down, they contract. Because of contraction, they form fissures, fissures for contraction. Obviously, cooling down is from the external part to the internal part. So, if the cooling down is very slow, very, very slow, 
the fissures are very regular from the external part to the internal part, usually vertical. Talking about neck is something that is inside volcano, so the cooling down is uh, very slow. So we explain why we have fissures, but why we have columns. If at least three fissures they meet each other, we have a columns, because if three fissures meet each other going deeper, they form a column. And the most iconic is the hexagonal one. The shape is strictly related to the speed of cooling down. If it's fast, we can have triangular or squared uh, shapes. If it's slower, we can have pentagonal or hexagonal. Try to think uh, to the honeycomb rooms of uh, bees, they are hexagonal, because hexagonal is the perfect shape, is the biggest space in the smallest place, optimization of the space. So now you know that neck is not just something that you have below your head, but it's also something else. So if you like this new video, thumb up, leave a comment, share, subscribe to my channel and follow us on the Facebook page Learning Geology. Big ciao from Doc Wisdom. See you next time.